One guy gave me a call and said, my brother, there's a 54 year old Muslim, never prayed in his life, never prostrated once in his life. I said, my brother, he's dying. And he, we really think he's at his last stages. Please, this guy's a family friend. Yeah, and he, there's no one in the family, no one in the family that even prays. He said to me, please, man, do you think maybe you can go? I don't know, Allah, Allah, maybe you can say some words, whatever. I said to him, yeah, khalas, whatever. Tell the family that I'll be there tomorrow. He calls me up a few hours later. He said to me, brother, please make sure you don't go visit that brother, man. I said to him, why not? Because as soon as he heard that a religious guy is going to come visit him, he lost it, bro. He lost it. In fact, he ordered the hospital that no one is to visit me from now on except my immediate family. He died two days after that. Now, I'm not saying he died on kufr or he... No, no, no. Wallahi, whatever he died on, that's between him and Allah. But because you live that life, you die on that. You live that life, you die on that. And I want you to think about your life. Because tonight I'm not, you know, I'm not questioning your faith. I'm not questioning, do you love Allah? Habibi, we all talk the talk. Brother, I love Allah, I'll die for Allah. You know, I love the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I'll die for his sunnah. Yep, 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 yep. Habibi, Allah doesn't look for lip service. Allah looks for action. You look at your life. Do you really love Allah? Do you really love Salah? Do you really love the masjid? How do you know? Look at your relationship with it. 